Hello, welcome to How Do I UV That, uh, where I show how to UV map subscribers models. So in this episode four, we have a model here sent by one, one of my subscribers. So thank you for sending that. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, okay, so this one's gonna be more complex, well, a little bit for UV mapping and mostly that will be due because it's really high poly um, I would say unnecessarily high poly but I guess this is a series to show how to UV map not how to model so let's focus on the UV mapping but obviously what I would say is to make sure you keep your model if it doesn't have to be really high poly Keep it as low poly as you can because that's going to make it a lot easier to UV map. The higher poly the model, the more difficult it is to UV map. So, okay, let's see. So, I'll show how to... Let's do the top first. Okay. And let's see, the existing ones are, for the most part, alright. Uh, mainly, and you can keep it as one piece because uh, it's so high poly that uh, it's not a big problem, I don't think. But I'll show you how I would do it. So, first I'm just going to give it a planar map just to get rid of the original UVs. And now I'm just going to start cutting away. And because this is a more geometrical shape, what I'll do is cut away from the sides so I'm going to cut right there you also got to make sure that the uh, geometry should connect where it should be for example here we have geometry that's separated um, which again it makes it difficult to UV the more complex your geometry obviously the more difficult it is to do the UVs okay so we have that so let's do the same on this side so right there I'm just trying to keep it I'm just trying to cut this in a way that uh, actually I'm not gonna cut that there I'm gonna cut it right here so that I'm cutting it in in panels so same way as uh, as if when you are UV in things like clothing you want to make sure that you cut your, your UVs where it makes sense so for a bus like this it will probably be made in pieces so we should follow that Okay, and now I'm going to probably do a cut at the top so that I have the top panel as a separate piece. Okay, so now that I have all those pieces separately, I can probably, typically I wouldn't do an unfold for a geometric shape. Uh, usually planar maps work better for that, but because this is so high poly, it's just going to take me a while to select all the faces and do a planar map. So I'm just going to use the unfold for this. Okay, so now this is what we get. Let's see. So that's this side. Then that top. Okay. 
think the top looks good. Let's see, Let's see distortion wise. Yeah, for the most part it looks pretty good. It has a panel here at the top. Let's see. I would probably have to cut that piece out as a separate UV shell. Let's look at everything else. Let's see. It's really interesting that it unfolded this way instead of unfolding straight like this piece. So what I could do now is do a planar map. So let's go to UV. Planar map options box. I'm going to set it to best plane and apply. So now I should be getting a better UV projection here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that looks much better. So that's why I usually prefer to do the uh, planar projections for stuff like this. Okay, so we got those pieces. See what this guy came out looking like. Uh, let's see at the geo. Maybe we can separate the windows from the rest. Well, let's see what the uh, distortion looks like. I think it looks good for the most part. But I would probably separate it. Let's, let's do that. Let's separate the windows. Probably somewhere there. Again, I don't want to complain about the geometry, but it's just making it really difficult to UV map. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Maybe around here okay yeah no that's probably not the right place I think it's because the uh, the edge loops don't really go all the way through it's like they go from the inside and they end up kind of out here it's not really what we want um, so I'll just leave those as they are for now and I would probably keep these pieces like this and do a layout so that's on the modified layout it's the options box I like to use the legacy layout just because I liked their settings and I set to prescale world into region uniform and apply and this should give us the uh, texel density to be as close as possible between the UV shells so I would do I would keep the top like this I would UV it that way so let's look at the rest of the model I mean I would probably do uh, this piece the, the same way most likely I would cut it first and then once I have those shells separately I can do a planar map let's see let's look at the tires let's, let's do one of the tires so same deal uh, to cut the UVs Probably up here. Oh, again, it suffers from the same problem that the uh, that the rest to the top did, where I want to select this edge loop, but I 
prefer if it went all the way to here and this way instead of just going into the cylindrical shape so that could be just a little bit of, a, of an issue with the UVs um, but let's let's just cut it there and do the same from this side okay let's see oh whoops uh so we have same issue here let's go through here instead Cut that out. Probably do a cut in here. And let's see. Then there. And I think that should be enough cuts that we can do a... Oh, whoa. One minute here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is going to make it way, way too impossible to do UVs. As you can see here, these pieces are connected to the whole tire. So that's... Yeah, it's going to be a problem. So I will fix that in the geometry first. And I wouldn't even try to do the UVs for that, just because that's just going to be a pain to do. These pieces should be separate from the rest of the tire. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and then once that's done, I should be able to unfold it just fine. I'm going to try to unfold. Hopefully Maya doesn't crash on me. Okay, so... Okay, so we got the top, which is fairly okay. You could try to use the uh, straightened UVs. I don't want to try it here because it's just going to take forever because of the amount of geometry. Let's see, let's kill this thing. Okay, so yeah, the top looks good. Size looks good. Probably merge that there. Same with this, just merge it there. We could just do a planar map. So let's do a UV planar. Then we get that, so which is good. That's what we want. And what is this? Oh, that's the inside with the uh, weird geometry, which actually it did a fairly good job with it, to be honest. I mean, you could potentially use that. My assumption here is that you made this model in ZBrush and you imported it, exported that without doing a retopology, which is fine, but I guess cleaning up the geometry is also part of making models. So, so I would do that and then just do a layout. And I would use the same UVs uh, for all the tires. So I think uh, that's all I have time for. So yeah, my recommendation for this model would be to make sure that make it lower poly, uh, retopologize it if you have to, or just reduce the number of uh, edges and just geometry in the whole thing. And that's just gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to UVing. Um, also making sure you keep pieces that should be separate, uh, keep those as separate pieces. It's good to combine things, but not always. Sometimes you want to keep things separately. So that's all I have time for today. Uh, thank you for sending the model. This was a challenge, I would say, mostly because of the geo is just really high poly. Uh, but yeah, so anyone else who wants to send the model, check the video description for details. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.